it doesn't feel as like video gamey and like cliche anime ish kind of. It feels more realistic, and you get to see the the home life of like being of a character being away from home and adventuring, and their family kind of worrying about them. Wild Arms 4 and 5 is where things kind of start to get really kind of cheesy, but also kind of fun, and or, or fun in a different way. But I do love, 2 and 4 are definitely my favorites. Wild Arms 5 is my favorite soundtrack of all time. I just, I love Wild Arms 5 soundtrack. But Wild Arms 2 has always been my favorite game, but at times this game gets kind of close. I've really come to appreciate it over the years. It's it's interesting because Wild Arms 4 has kind of, to me, it's aged like a fine wine. I know that's probably a very strange statement that a lot of people probably would not agree with if they played all the games. But for some reason, I've grown more endeared to Wild Arms 4 over the years. I don't know why. I just have. I just I just like the the risks they took and and the different things that they tried out. Okay, so we have Incubator and Larva here. Incubator is going to be spitting out Larvas uh, once we take them out. So, again, I want to try and have Yuli survive this. Incubator is weak to nothing. But let's see here. Let's... If I can get Incubator and Larva to move off of that hex, that would be fantastic. Okay, because they also utilize Stone Bullet, which is very, very painful. Yeah, just like that. They counterattack with Stone Bullet. Okay, he moved. That's good. That's good. All right, let's slow him down. We don't have access to Isolate yet, or uh, Lockout, or whatever it's called. So we can't can't do anything with uh, preventing them from going to opposite hexes yet. Let's get that on. Now the thing is is for this fight and I don't I don't have my speedrun notes in front of me at the moment but we technically only need to beat incubator we don't need to fight the larva and if we keep beating the larvas they'll just keep spitting out more and that will keep getting us more experience too so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna heal with Jude here this is more than enough to win with don't okay. underestimate me rock hell Okay, I'm gonna have Rock help go ahead and occupy that blue hex and get some damage in. But I don't wanna kill him yet. Because I want Rock Hill to get bumped off so she can keep her level about the same. That's 18, 18. Uh, poison bite. You know, poison bite, I might. Hmm. Now, nah, let's do Comet Strike. Hey, Immortus, welcome in, buddy! How are you doing today? Hope you're having yourself a fantastic week so far, buddy. I can give you a shout-out, my friend. What you been up to? How predictable. Maybe I'll give that a try. You got any, uh, uh, Destiny 2 plan this week? Or any more, uh, Detroit Become Human? Uh, Immortus also recently put together a gaming PC and they streamed it too, which was really, really cool to watch. Nice, nice. I will be sure to check it out. Absolutely. A skull like uh, like a piece of artwork or something? Alright, I'm gonna cast. Slow down here too. I think this speed suits you better. Damn. Okay, I am going to move them over there. Okay, he's going to summon another incubator, so that's a bit of an issue, but that's okay. I am going to move Yuli over here. I can help here. Well, okay, let's okay. see what I can do. If I blast incubator. Yes. Okay, let's blast Incubator. God, Stone Bullet does so much damage. Okay. Okay. Now. Ah, not quite. 
Okay, here's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and get a hit on with Fengalon, and then take him out with Arno. Arno might get a little bit of experience. But I really don't want Raquel to get experience. I could just lose the fight and keep retrying, but we could be here all day trying to get the right RNG we want to. So I'm just going to take what we can get. Because I do want to keep it low level, but I'm not going to go to every single length and restart every single fight. Just to have the exact outcome I want. Okay, so yes, I think this will kill Incubator. So this is good. This will kill Incubator, and it will not kill the larvas. So only Arno and Yuli will get experience. And they won't get the extra experience from the larvas. Yes. Okay, perfect. That should end the fight. Because this is a fight where you don't, you only have to kill the main boss. No, excuse me, I'm mistaken. <laughs> I am mistaken, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, we might be okay. We'll see. For some reason, I thought, I thought uh, you only had to kill the incubator. It's been a while since I played this. Ah, oh, man. This is gonna- oh man, if we can get one more hit... I'm over here. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, baby! Beautiful, look at that! Arno, man! <laughs> 62 HP! Oh, man, Arno. Okay, well, Arno's gonna go up to 11. Okay, well, there's nothing we can really do about that. But damn, that was tight. <laughs>